this video, we will show you how to run PMM in vector mode using the wizard and measure parameters. The AK06 series of VSDs are a reliable and cost-effective solution for controlling electric submersible pumps. For the correct operation of the equipment, make the connection according to the manufacturer's recommendations with cable products of the appropriate power control system. Also, check the grounding and neutral connections depending on the type of mains used. Check the circuit breakers in the electronics compartment and make sure there are no foreign objects, water, or soot. Before applying power to the VSD, measure the resistance of the long line in the motor and record the results. Note, if the phase resistance differs by more than 10 to 15 percent, check the correctness of measurements or the suitability of the equipment for further operation. Make sure the doors are securely locked. Turn on the VSD. The VSD is ready to operate. To be able to start the VSD using the wizard, the software version must be at least 33.61. If your software version is lower, update. Instructions for updating the software are shown in the video AK06 VSD Software Update. Trio VSDs allow you to work with valve motors in two modes. In a mode for maintaining a given cosine by means of changing the output voltage, and in vector mode, which ensures minimum power consumption in all modes of engine operation, instantaneous processing of load surge and shedding, as well as precise maintenance of a given rotation speed. To facilitate operation, it is possible to load motor parameters from a file in which there is a library with passport data of valve motors from various manufacturers. It is possible to operate without this file but it will take more time to determine the missing data using measuring instruments and special VSD operating modes. In the menu, enter the motor passport data, ESM rated power, ESM rated voltage, ESM rated current, motor rated PF, nominal frequency of motor, rated engine speed. Then move on. If there is a long line, enter its parameters, cable cross-section, setting depth, reservoir temperature. If there is no long line, select no in the line section. Next, enter the step-up transformer parameters, nominal frequency transformer, step-up transformer power, impedance, primary winding voltage, recommended use step-up transformer, step-up transformer tap U, then move on. In the menu, select the measurement of resistance, RS. For this, in the item define RS, enter yes, and then move on. For correct calculation, it is necessary to accurately enter the values that were obtained when measuring the resistances before energizing. Based on these values, the motor resistance will be calculated, which is a very important parameter for the correct operation of the installation. Also in this menu, indicate whether there is a long line and its parameters. This information is necessary to calculate the resistance of a long line. Then move on. Select the inductance measurement for this in the Define LSD and LSQ item. Select Yes and then move on. To activate the mode of measuring the inductances of the motor, press the Start button, after which the VSD will charge and proceed to the determination of the inductances. It will take some time for testing. 
During testing, the VSD can make sounds of different keys. This is normal. The LSD and LSQ values can either be the same or different, depending on the design and features of the particular motor. If you cannot complete this stage, then you miss one of the steps for measuring resistance or measuring inductance. This window contains the data of the motor and the values of the resistances and inductances that were measured by you in the previous step. If necessary, you can make adjustments and then move on. If you know the moment of inertia for a given installation, enter it and apply the data from the file. If in doubt, press enter and the installation itself will measure the moment of inertia of the given motor and pump. However, this action will take some time. While the installation must be assembled and operational, the Step Up Transformer has a tap on the Step Up Transformer, which was previously used and the throw out valve mouth is open. After the measurement of the moment of inertia is completed, the measured value is displayed on the screen. Then move on. Before you is a menu with a final stage of the wizard. Enter the frequency of the reference and press the start button after which there will be a start with control of the parameters and the transition to vector control and exit to the frequency of the reference. Operation with the wizard has been successfully completed and the installation is ready for operation. Return to the main menu and click start, after which the installation will enter the mode. Learn how to run PMM in vector mode using the motor library in the video Running PMM in Vector Mode Using the Wizard and Motor Library. Find out more about Trio products on our website and social media.